Hello and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale, the Let's Play Blind with Neo Rambler. Right then, uh, we still have to finish off exploring this area apparently, according to my past self when I watched my last video. Uh, so let's see what we have left to explore, which doesn't look like a lot. In fact, it looks like the whole map has been explored, except for some secret areas that we may need to explore due to the quest stuff and what have you. There's also some treasures we can go and find. Oh no, I tell a lie! There is an area over here where my cursor is that we have not explored yet. That must be the final area. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Anyway, right, so we're going to go and get to that area and see what's what and have this whole map covered. And then we've got to go back to Archer's Pass. Yes, uh, Kitty Guardian has mentioned that the missing map area of Archer's Pass is to do with the Headless Statue. Uh, and I know that because I read a note saying that if you dive off the headless statue head in a certain direction with a blind leap of faith, said like that, then you'll find something. Um, and I thought I'd already done it, but apparently not. So that's what we've got to do after this. So that's what I plan to do after the Soaring Meadow once we've done this bit over here. And there's a few other things we can do as well that Kitty mentioned that I can't remember off the top of my head because I'm pretty tired. But anyway, never mind. Maybe it'll come to me as we progress. So let's go to where we need to go. We must climb the hideous vines once more after a week-long absence. Or probably longer now, actually. Probably like eight days worth. Oh, it's you again. Oh, that's right. Yes, uh, Kitty Guardian mentioned that um, we really should be using, and I think somebody else, Cargore as well, mentioned that we need to use the lightning ability for fidgets because it's very, very good. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, once I'm correct on what I'm going to do. Yep, there we go. Oh, it killed it pretty much straight away that's fantastic uh, kitty actually also mentioned as well that um you know i really should be focusing on fidget's attack because i mean look at the stats at the moment 4140 for her compared to my 1850 attack stats one of the main reasons why kitty's been nagging me to get this uh, upgraded for fidget is because it just at some point after putting on items uh just goes through the roof and apparently it can go even higher than this up to three times higher than this oh yes you heard that right if you do some basic math you will realize that this could approach 12,000 I mean if we do three times this amount then it's 12,420 yes I'm just checking my maths there um, but I think realistically it's somewhere between 11,000 and 12,000 that fidgets attack can go which is just insane uh, and I'd like to see that and apparently the way to do that is we have to get some ring um, diagrams or uh, I forget what these called the blueprints that's it why did I forget oh, I'm so idiot I mean the clothes in the picture for Christ's sake Neo it's a picture of a thing on a blue background on a grid that's a blueprint yeah all right thank you Neo Rambler number two well I'm just helping you out because I've been absent for a while yes you have Neo Rambler number two thank you for that so there's Neo Rambler number one which is me anyway point being is is that uh, there are some rings that really do bust up fidgets attack ability up to three times the amounts unfortunately I don't seem to have those on me in terms of the blueprint, so I'm not sure where we're going to go to get those, but I'm sure at some point we'll find out. Either way, that's what can happen. So we'll see if we can work towards that. Probably not in this video, but definitely in the next one or the ones after that one. So that's that. So anyway, we must continue onwards. Um, and yes, Fidget's Lightning ability, we pretty much stick to that because it hits everything. Whereas the Fire Attack and uh, the uh, Wind ability can miss, but the Lightning ability doesn't. Fidget tends to home in on something with the lightning strikes which i've noticed and it hits them for everything it's got so yeah fair enough point taken guys thank you for that i will do that for the remainder of this lp unless i accidentally change it or forget or just aren't paying attention which happens a lot as you know like that because i forgot completely that they explode <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope all you guys and girls are well. Um, I'm going to be into work soon, thank God. Um, so I'm just waiting for work to come through. But it is going to come through apparently. And I've got opportunities to work elsewhere as well, which I might start doing in October. Uh, so in terms of video counts, I'm still going to try and get one video out per day. So that's not changed. Um, but it's going to be one because I was trying to do for two. But I realise I have a lot of prep work to do before I go to work. And even when I'm in work, I'm going to have even more work than the stuff of work I've got to do. So, yeah, I'm going to be a busy boy once again. Um, but never mind. Either way, um, on a positive note, uh, A, I'll be earning some money, which means I can get more games, which means we can vary our channel a little bit. Um, and I'm also going to start saving some up to get a better computer rig. I'm going to start saving up so I can build a proper desktop PC. Like I said, I'm work I've got a gaming laptop. If you're interested in which one it is, it's a Samsung Series Gamer 7. 
or Samsung Gamer Series 7, I'm not quite sure which way around to say it, I've always said Samsung Series Gamer 7. Um, it's got a nice 7 processor, uh, an NVIDIA GTX 675 card, it might be a 670, which sounds cool but it's not, it's really a rebadged 580 according to someone with just more video RAM and it's overclocked slightly, so it's actually quite an ancient graphics card. Still pretty powerful though, but yeah, the if I was a 660 or a 690 or a 680, that would have a bit more graphical grunt to it, but oh well never mind, I didn't know that at the time when I bought it. It's still got a fantastic processor and even with the graphics card it's got, it's allowed me to do far greater things than I could do previously with my old laptop, which is quite a basic one. So it's served me very, very well. And to be fair, I'll probably continue to use it. The only thing I've noted with this laptop is my hard drives are beginning to click, um, which implies that, uh, that the hard drives are going to fail. So I've backed everything up onto a uh, external hard drive, and I'll back it up once a week as the schedule recommended, and I'll probably do that on a Sunday, Sunday morning or something like that. So if my hard drives do go, I'll have everything backed up so I can get it all restored. So that's not the end of the world. Um, but if the hard drives do go, unfortunately this laptop doesn't really allow you to change the hard drives. It does have a hard drive bay uh, compartment on the back, but you can't pull out the hard drives and replace them with other ones. They seem to be covered with all kinds of other wires and plates and stuff, so I'd have to take it apart and see if the hard drives could be slotted out or whether they need desoldering or not, I don't know. Um, I've had a quick look and it looks really nasty and my electronics experience is pretty meager. I do have some because I do fix my old retro consoles and I've had to um, do some soldering in the past. Um, I recently actually had to fix or one of the one things I can fix in retro consoles is Atari Jaguar CDs which is quite uh, you know if you're not into electronics or if you're into your retro consoles that's quite an obscure console and um, quite a weird one to know how to fix but I do um, in terms of um, changing components on it and or uh, mostly the laser drive or the laser uh, the laser system on it. it tends to fail a lot um, I can swap them out quite happily for a new one. I know how to do that. It's quite a basic procedure, really. Anybody can do it, even without any electronics experience, like I did when I did it. I had none, but I followed the guide on the internet and I gave it a go because the one I got was broken and I got it cheap and swapped it and sold it on, so it can be done. And I've recently fixed my Dreamcast as well, although to be fair, that just required swapping out the uh, laser unit and that really didn't, wasn't that difficult, really. But in terms of fixing them, they are quite problematic, so uh, yeah. But I like to dabble. But I am really a hobbyist. I'm not even a hobbyist really because I don't do enough of it. Point being is, I'm not afraid to do a bit of ele electronics. And I'm going completely the wrong way this way, aren't I? Oh, Boris. Boris, Neo, you're talking about stuff that's not relevant to the game because you can't be bothered to edit all the backtracking. Oh, silly boy. Oh, well, yes, yes, you're right. But I'm also tired a bit. That's all. I've done some prep work and. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, point being is, is uh, we've got to go in the right direction now. I know where we're going. And, uh, well, I probably don't know where I'm going, but I pretend. Um, but, um, this is right. Yes, here we go. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, no, we can go left, can't we? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I can try and change the hard drives out for new ones. I might change them from SSDs if I can, because if I can switch the, because uh, I've got hard disk drives or HDDs. If I can switch one out for an SDD, it's only the one hard drive that's failing, both of them, you know, the other one's fine. So, um, if I switch that one out for an SSD, it uh, might be a good idea, actually, you know. So I know it can do SSDs, um, but again, it's just difficult to change. Um, but if I can do it, then I will, and I'll stick with this computer for a bit longer, but either way, I'll save some extra money towards a really powerful gaming rig. Um, I mean, at the moment, I intend to get a... Uh, well, I don't, actually, I don't know. I've got a book on how to build a PC, but again, I've never done it before. Um, so any hints and tips you can give me on how to build a PC, if you happen to know it, because some of you are pretty good at uh, coding, I've noticed. If you happen to know more about PCs in terms of hardware, which I'm sure you do, otherwise you wouldn't really do coding, or at least understand coding. Well, you could understand coding without hardware, but I think hardware plays a part in coding. Either way, I'm just talking rubbish. Point being is you know about computers. Um, let me know and give me some advice on what to do, what not to do. Um, and what's, I want to do a nice, powerful gaming rig. So, um, again, sort of suggested processors I should get, motherboards I should get, RAM I should get, uh, should I get an optical drive or not, um, graphics cards, what would be a good one to have for a good price. I don't want to get a top of the range one because they cost thousands. Um, and they tend to, like, you know, like after six months to a year, they lost lots and lots and lots of money and another one comes out. So I'd rather get one that's a little bit below the top of the range one to save some money. Because I've heard that, you know, you can get a really good graphics card that's still really powerful now and will last a few years for a fraction of the price that you pay for the brand new latest one. Um, so let me know what I should get optimistically. I mean, don't worry about price. Just sort of give me an idea for a good gaming rig that can do video editing and stuff like that, as well as play really powerful games. Um... And uh, also, uh, 
I've gone the wrong way! I've gone completely the wrong way! Oh, God damn it! Oh no, I've gone the wrong way! Ugh! Boish! Alright, so I shall have to do some editing now, but before I do edit this and just go back to where I'm supposed to be, um, yeah, at, just let me know any advice about how to build PCs um, and what I should go for, what I should go for. So, processors, motherboards, video RAM, or RAM, video RAM, well, see, I don't know what I'm talking about. Memory RAM, you know, random access memory, um, graphics cards, cooling systems, any particular type of desktop casing, uh, power supplies, all that stuff. Give us a shout and uh, let us know on uh, either the comment section or send me a message and I'll read it and give me some sort of pricing quotations as well. So I've got an idea of what to build because um, that would be really fantastic. You don't have to if you don't want to but if you've got any knowledge please share it with me because I'd love to love to hear it. Right so I'm going to end the video at this point to get to the next point so I shall see you in a second. And we're there, well at least near the bit anyway. Um, it turns out that the reason why we haven't explored this bit was because of this tricky vine climbing bit which I'll show you when we backtrack out of this area inevitably anyway. Um, but I remembered coming back to this area why I didn't go this way because I didn't think I could do it. But it turns out you can with a little bit of jumping and double jumping and keyboard control. Yeah, I can do it. So without further ado let's see what's in this hidden area. Of course it's only the one block full of spikes. Or thorns, thorny spikes, spiky thorns, horrible things. Either way, the things I hate, it's full of. Oh boy. Yeah, I did not think I was going to make that. Got gotcha. you! Oh, the stupid space bar. Double jumping too quickly. They never make it this easy, do they? No, they don't. Ooh. A door! That was not what I was expecting. Definitely nothing down there. It might be, but I'm intrigued by Door. Door, what are you going to show me? You're going to show me this again. Brilliant! Wunderbar, fantastic, black and white area of doom. How can I forgive you so? Why do I even need to forgive you? Because you're evil, that's why. Interestingly enough, not a lot going for it. Apparently there's a treasure in here, but there was a treasure in this area anyway. Oh, it's another friend's thing. Okie dokies, let's see. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't have enough keys! <laughs> Cool. It means I'm gonna read it again. <laughs> Why, game? Why? I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Three hours later. Got keys. Right, let's do it. Better not mess this up. Thank God for that! Oh, it's another one of you creepy things. I don't care! Bye bye now. Oh boy! You do not even realise the extent to which I had to deal with this and also for some reason there's a treasure here. There be treasure here. Why there be treasure here? Arr. I want my treasure. Where be my treasure? Seriously, it says there's treasure here. Why is there not? Why is it? Oh, hang on. It's probably because it's not in this area, is it? No, it's probably below. There we go. Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm not kidding, I have spent an hour backtracking across all of this game finding keys. And you know why I've had to do that is because the merchant's not selling them anymore. Yes, the merchant for some reason has decided to just say balls to keys, there's not enough money in keys, I refuse to sell anymore, they're not making any profit. 
he doesn't sell them anymore. And even when I change the difficulty, thinking maybe they stop selling them because I changed the difficulty, he still won't sell them on easier difficulties. In other words, I have to go back through the whole map, get all the keys, in order to be able to open him up. Only to realise that if I'd have just gone a slight step below the door, there were three keys available down there. Oh, what sweet bitter irony. <laughs> <laughs> on the plus side though we can finally well I don't know whether to leave this area no we are going to leave this area and we're going to end the video on going back to Archer's Pass because I want to get this sorted out once and for all um, so that's what we're going to do we've got to find this headless statue and then we've got to do something I've got the note so we can work it out what it is we need to do in fact, actually, I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm not going to climb up all the way here because the amount of backtracking I've had to do to get the keys necessary to open that bloody friend vault is ridiculous. But I have found a load of keys since then, so I've been through a lot of areas where I've missed treasures. I've picked up a load anyway. Um, and also, uh, I found two more friend treasure, uh, two more friend cages to go and find. I won't do them now because I've spent too long playing it, so I'm going to have to make this as short as physics. It's going to require a hell of a bit. Well, not a hell of a lot of editing, but more editing than usual. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I's not very happy. <laughs> oh, dear. It's my own fault. My own fault. I should have gone down below. There'd be keys. But since this is a Let's Play Blind, I wasn't to know that. I really wasn't. But hey ho. Anyway. Uh, apparently, yes, we are now at the Headless Statue, so apparently it's got something to do with this Headless Statue. But the problem is I have no idea how. The note says that the Headless Statue take a leap of faith and then something marvellous happens. I don't know what this leap of faith is, but that's what you do. Unless we kneel at the Headless Statue. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Let's kneel on top of this head and see what happens. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bloody typical. Right, so... Oh, I've also leveled up twice as well, so we can get some more stats, because I'm awesome. So there you go. Right, anyway, let's read this note then, because I have no idea uh, what it means. Uh, nope, nope, I don't know, it's one of the treasure... Nope, not that one. Leap of Faith. They chased and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go, I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. So that's basically what it's asking us to do, but what it means by leap of faith, I have no idea. So just we... Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, it's like that, is it? Oh! I swear to god I've done that like two or three times and it didn't work. <laughs> you know what, whatever. Let's waste more keys. I just lost the key. You're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> uh. I don't care. I don't care. Let's just get these things. Oh, and the last treasure chest had to be full of enemies. Wonderful. On the plus side, though, we've got a revival stone, which is very handy, or will be handy in the future, so that's good. Um, ooh, pendant of the creature. I think that's new. I don't think I've had that before. Let's have a look. Pendant of the creature. Might be that. There it is. Oh, my God. It's rubbish. God! Oh, I could buy wolf pelts. How many has she got? Perfect. A perfect amount. So can I make this this pendant? Do I even want to? Yes, let's do it. I've already got it. I've just wasted equipment and money on something I've already got. Marvellous. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles again. Oh well, never mind. Um, let's see what other armor we can get. Oh, we can get that now. So, does that mean we can get that? Oh, I'll happily have that. 
Yes, lovely. So we've got some better armor now. That is good news. That's good news indeed. Is that better than the one I've got? I don't think it is. Let's have a look at it. Not quite. Mountain gear. No, not quite. We're all right. Phew! All right, well, at least our defense is taking a bit of a boost, which is good. Um, so, yeah, well, there you go, then. Uh, I think... Yeah, we've covered the whole map. The only thing we haven't done now is got the last bits of treasure, which I'm going to go and do now. And then we'll end the video at this point, I think. So at least then we've... Uh, um, we, uh, these bloody explodey things. I don't... I, I just hate them with a passion. I hate explodey things. I don't really, but I hate these explodey things. <laughs> That's dumb. I hate them. Probably the worst enemy I've ever met in a game. At least this. Ow, ow, die, all of you die, please die, thank you, die, 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 Fantastic. Right, okay then, so there'd be a treasure around here and there's all the explodey stuff, and it's probably actually thinking about it quite high up. I don't want to waste any opportunity to go and get it, that's probably where it is. Which isn't a good sign, because that means I might have to go blue. Damn it! I might have to relieve this area and respawn those things again. But we'll have another quick look around before we do. Um, let me see what's what. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody's going boom today. Everybody's going boom, boom, boom today. Boom, boom, boom. We'll save the game because my game likes to crash a lot due to the fragile hard drive. So that's the shop. Yeah, the shop doesn't sell keys anymore, which is bizarre. I didn't know that was going to happen. So somebody will have to let me know as to why that's the case. But it is true. The shop no longer sells keys. Neither does Haley and anybody else. There's another shop in uh, the village that you go to at the beginning. He doesn't sell them either, so... I don't know why. But there you go. Oh, excuse me. I'm tired. Right, I don't know where this treasure is. It must be like a. It must be much higher up there. That's a bit annoying, but never mind. Right, respawn everybody. Oh, look how high we're going. Look at that. But nothing up there. Fabulous. Right, let's do that again. Can't do it again. He's dead. Or he's dead. Right, you all gonna stay there? Let's stay there. Good lads. Right. We let's see what's up here for me. Nothing. Absolutely bloody nothing. I don't know where this. I don't know where this treasure is. Then I don't know where it is. No, I don't know where it is at all. Ooh, it's well hidden. I'll just pass. There's a lot of hidden treasures, don't it? Do you know what? I'm gonna have to end the video here because I'm getting very tired now and I'm starting to lose focus. So. I don't know why I'm saving it again, but you never know, it's always good to save twice. So, in the next video, we shall try and find said treasure here, and uh, the final treasure here. Um, actually, before we do go, I'll show you where I've been to get all these keys that I've mentioned that I got in order to get that friendship chest. Uh, we still haven't been to Everdrawn Basin yet, but that's the last part of the game, so that makes sense. Uh, haven't been around all the Blackmore Mountains, there's still some mystery areas about that, so that's got something to do with the notes, I take it. Uh, the sanctuary we've already done, the Soaring Meadow, uh, we've covered the whole map, it's just some more treasures to get hold of. Um, I went to Aurora Village and got some more treasures from there, there's still one missing though for some reason, although I think I know it's probably due to the trials, but we don't care about that. Um, didn't go back to the Glade, I went down to uh, Kiramon Caverns and uh, got some more keys from there. Um, and I went to, uh, hit, uh, that's it, uh, Ivydale Glen, got some more treasures there as well. So that's why I went backtracking getting keys we can't seem to buy them anymore. Don't know why that is, but whatever's. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, in the next video then, like I said, we'll get all the treasures of Archer's Pass, so finally clearing that place out. Um, and then if I can remember, although I uh, lost the top of my head where the other friend things are. Yes, there's another friend uh, cage in Kiraman Caverns. And I'm just trying to think where the other one was. It was somewhere high up. It might have been in the Soaring Meadow, but no, it wasn't, was it? Where was the other one? It wasn't in Blackmore Mountain, so there probably is one up there. It probably was, actually. It probably was the Soaring Meadow. I think I found another one in the Soaring Meadow. Pretty confident. Oh, it could be Aurora's Village. Aurora Village. I don't know. It's, it's one of these areas, but yeah, I know there's one at uh, Kiriman Cabins. There's another one. I know where that is. 
Um, and then there's one not in Archer's Pass, although there could be another one there still for all I know. I think there's another one in the Soaring Meadow, if I'm not much mistaken, but there you go. Anyway, so we'll get those. So until then, take it easy, have a good one, hope you're well, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.